Sockling Collection that I started in about 1982. They were all made of, uh, out of love for a child and um, then kind of discarded, so I kind of am now the, the caretaker. <laughs> and, um, you know, the family's growing. Sock monkeys are iconic. Uh, you know, for the boomers, it was uh, almost everybody had one. Um, you know, it was um, very iconic, uh, still is, to a lot of people. Um, plus, they're, they're fun looking. And, you know, they just need all the fun they can get. It started in, actually in about 1957. Uh, the Rockford Heel Company put out a brochure um, and showed uh, how to do it, and it took off. There was other animals, but it didn't. They didn't take off. Just they didn't take off like the monkeys do. These all came from uh, thrift stores, uh, flea markets, uh, garage sales, uh, all over the United States. Um, mom and pop operations, um, antique malls, auctions from all different ways of acquiring. For me, it's fun. Um, my favorite thing to do is be on the road. It, to me, it's the journey, not the end. You know, I'm interested in um, the process more than I am the acquisition. They're getting, I don't rarely see them out anymore, uh, which is kind of a shame. I, they're still there, I'm sure, but uh, I just don't see them out that much. Oh, it's a blast. Um, it's uh, a lot of people, have once they see a collection like this, they get <laughs> very excited about it. Sock monkey ornaments, sock monkey keychain. seems to have three eyes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Look how cute that thing is. Is that too cute or what? <laughs> it's so goofy, isn't it? <laughs> I really like him. I don't try to be to uh, have a, um, you know, create favoritism because they get, you know, might get jealous. Might be some squabbling and fighting. I've yet to make one, but I will one day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the socks, um, which, you know, here's, here's what they look like when they're <laughs> not formed into a monkey. Um, and each, uh, it's two, one, one pair to make one monkey. There's uh, regional monkeys, believe it or not. Uh, the ones from Texas, are, are, uh, you can spot those versus the ones from other parts of the nation, which is, you wouldn't think that would be, but it is. They've got a certain technique in their uh, eyebrows, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and they, you know, they're usually uh, uh, got clothing. Um, my favorite part about them, I think, though, is that they are all unique and completely different from each other, and it's the same material, which is amazing to me. You wouldn't think you would think there'd be some repetition to it, but they all have different eyes, different ear, or different uh, expressions. Um, different. Uh, some have hats, some have clothing, some don't. You know, it's it's all uh, very kind of a creative expression from the woman who created it.